First launch the Visual Studio app on your computer and open the C++ program you want to run. Try to run the program. If you see error output like this, it means you don't have the compiler to run a C++ program. The app will suggest you to install the C slash C++ extension. Click the install button and wait until the extension is installed. If you try to run the program again, it will still give you error output. What you need to do is press F1 and type select IntelliSense configuration. Click the first option that comes up and click help me install a compiler. It will take you to Visual Studio website. Follow the instructions on the website. Since the first and second step has been done, skip to the third step. Click the link to the installer to install the latest MSYS2 version. MSYS2 is a collection of software and tools that includes GCC. To compile C++ programs, you need the GCC compiler. Wait until the download process is finished and then open the .exe file. The MSYS2 setup will show up. Click Next, you will have the option to choose the directory where MSYS2 will be installed. The default directory is recommended. Click Next. You will be asked to create the program shortcut, just leave it at default and click Next. The installation process will begin, it will take at least a few minutes. After the installation is finished, click Next and then click Finish. MSYS2 terminal will automatically pop up. See the fifth step on the website, copy the command inside the brackets and paste it to MSYS2 terminal and press enter. Accept the default install on the members in the toolchain group by pressing enter. Wait until the installation process is finished. After it's finished, open the Windows search bar and type Edit Environment Variables for your account. Click Path and click Edit. Click New and then browse to add the MinGW64 destination folder path to the system path. Select OK. Relaunch Visual Studio Code and run your C++ program. The program will run smoothly.